We are on the 40 mile river with gold fever prospecting today and my lovely wife and I are prospecting a spot for the first time. I guess no one's ever hit this spot and we've done one cleanup of our top mat and had quite a bit of gold in it but uh, we had a big plug up and had some real problems putting our hose back on. Now I'm going to get back in the water and try one more time today. What are you seeing Vicki? Rocks. Rocks? No eagles? No eagles. Saw a caribou this morning. So you saw a caribou? Yeah. What was it doing? Walking on the rocks. I guess a bear had went through earlier chasing a big male caribou down around the bend where Jimbo Hamilton is prospecting. We're hoping to do pretty good here. It's only about two foot of overburden down to the bedrock and we've stripped it on down there pretty good. check to see what's on the top uh, set of riffles and uh, do the later clean up after lunch or after dinner or whatever it is. So, this is what we got right here. That's all we're going to do a clean up on right now. I got a feeling it could be pretty good. What do you think, Vic? I don't know. You don't know? It's little and it's hard to see. You always want to pan into the tub when it's so uh, small gold like you get. We're getting a lot of it, but 
you definitely don't want to do this into the river. Looks good from here. Very quick one. <laughs> Again, this is just the very top. There'll be a lot of fine gold below it. Well, let's pick it up. Let's start heading in. Picking it up. Let's start heading in. Unless it's a magnifying cover. What's that? Yeah, this is a new one. I'm not a cameraman too well here. So where are all you gentlemen from? I'm from Kaifa, California. Yeah? Dredging coming back soon? Not uh, any time in my lifetime, I don't think. Well, you've still got about at least a year or two left, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm fighting right till the day I die, though. All right. Corian, Idaho. Good gold there? There's gold there. There you go. All gold's good, right? That's right. Boise City, Texas. Texas? Yes, sir. Everything big comes from Texas. Yes, sir. Except for the gold. Except the gold. Everybody's doing a little cleaning up. He's looking for some garnets right now. Over here, they're using gold cubes and all kinds of gimmicks to get that gold. Maybe you can tell us uh, what your name is and a little bit maybe, maybe about that YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen Biffle from the Wandering Buffaloes. Wandering Buffaloes. And we are doing our day one cleanup. All right, how's the gold look? I'm finished, so I'm getting all the stuff at the end. So I'm seeing a lot of gold. Some pickers? I don't know. Let's see. Can we see it in there now? In here? Yeah. Take a little look here. I see some. Yeah. A little hard to see. A little dark. But I believe you. I think you see a couple little pieces down in there. Well, anything more than five ounces, we're splitting. <laughs> you got it. Is that Mr. Wandering Buffalo here? That's right. Chef Ifla, how you doing? What do you got in there? Ah, uh, well, I panned all our stuff that we classified out there on the river. So I snuffered up a lot of the fine gold that was stuck to these rocks. And just to see if there's any nuggets that didn't get classified. Pretty ancient material you're working? There, some beautiful garnets mixed in though. Yeah, it's It's like even got sides faceted in there. I don't know if you can see. There you go. I probably should put my glasses on so I can see. Let me zero in on this a little better. Still figuring this camera out. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Thank you. You're welcome. Good time though. Day one, getting used to the equipment. So then we can hit the ground running now. Got big Jimbo Hamilton hanging out over here. Yeah, the same problem. How's it going, Jim? Just working. Don't touch the bucket now. Started working. We're just gonna run a temper from that one to the other. There's Big Matt. He's the owner of this operation here. Big 
<laughs> Zoom in there if you want. We got some gold showing up finally. It'll be better tomorrow. Oh. We're seeing some gold here. It's not even a tank of fuel. So. Not even one tank went into that. Wow. It's going all the way down. It stops. We're going to be doing this for two weeks, and Jim and I got the bet that uh, if I do better than him, I get all of his gold, and vice versa. Maybe. Kind of. Not really, but you know, hey. I'm getting so old, I can barely find a couple pieces, so I'm happy. Just with that. Well, I'm not worried about losing. <laughs> These dredges don't come with walkers. That's true. I need one. I think the dinner bell was ringing in there, though. Yeah. Well, we're going to go eat something. I think we have some beautiful pork chops going. How are we doing here, Victoria? Yeah. Uh, Vicky's shy of this camera, so I don't want to bug her too much. I'm concentrating on the cons. Vicky's concentrating on the cons. A little play on words there, eh? Yeah. I can figure that. Quite a few there. Probably about two, two and a half gallons of cans. Filtered it down to eight. I think people that bend down and uh, and pay the price, they want people to know that they purchased because they paid it. How are we doing over here? Oh, we're, we're getting there. This, this is the good part. Yeah? This is the first one we took out of the box. That's the first hour of work. They had some good ones. Yeah, when they were trying to sell the kids. Well, we're back at the camp. Just ate some awesome pork chops and fettuccine alfredo. And then we cleaned up the gold, as you saw us doing earlier, and I just finally got it completely clean. And I'm gonna show you that. This, by the way, this is where we're staying. Our place is called the Nut House because there's a squirrel who liked to throw nuts at this guy that was staying here, so they called it that. And here's the gold. Now again, this is only half the gold, we assume. We were hogging it pretty hard today, and we think some may have ended up in the bottom. So Matt, the owner here, said that he assumed it might be as much as half. I'll get it focused on yet. That cord just to kind of show a little perspective here. The sun's kind of at a weird angle. In fact, there really isn't any sun right now. That's, that's as good as I can probably get it. It's stacked pretty thick there. There's a few nice pieces in there. But most of the gold that's found here is flower gold. You find a few nuggets. That's one right there. Small one. I'm assuming there's, you know, I don't know, between two and three grams. So, first day, a little dehydrated. Hopefully, tomorrow will do a little better. Have a good one.